Hello everybody, so I am back with uh, another video. Um, today I tested out the We Care Your Favours palettes by Focalore and it looks like this. And it is a um, dupe for the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette I believe. Um, but yeah, if you want to see how I found this palette and how I created this eye look, just keep on watching. Okay, so I have begun by priming my lids, and I've always already got my brows on, but I began by priming my lids, and I used the P. Louise base, and I'm just gonna pat it in, just like so. So, these are the two palettes. I have the Twilight palette, which looks like this, and inside it looks like this. And then I have the We Care Your Favours palette, which is a dupe, um, or they've taken inspiration um, from the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette, from what I interpret it to be like. So I've always wanted to try the Huda Beauty palette. I think I'm actually gonna give this a go because like I say, I've always wanted to try the Huda Beauty palette. Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty. Eyelids are primed and ready to go. So I'm gonna take the BH Cosmetics 4 brush. Looks like this. It's kind of like stained, but you know, it is clean. And I'm just gonna take the shade Terracotta, which is this shade here. And I'm just gonna dip my brush in. Okay, picked up really, really well. So what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna sort of pack it um, on my eyes like I normally would with the shadows that I normally use. Okay, I didn't take that much because I wanted, normally I really like dig my brushes in, but I wanted to just see what the first layer was, because like the ABH ones for example, first time I used those, I went straight in like I do on my Morphe, like really digging it in, put it on my eye and it was insane. So you kind of got to get a feel, but these ones I feel like are a bit like the Morphe shadows and I can sort of build them up to the intensity that I want, which is always good. So I don't really know which eye look I'm doing today, but I'm just kind of going with it. And I'm just sort of packing that on. Okay, they blend out quite softly as well. The edge isn't blended, but the front portion is. Okay, so there we go. There we have our starting um, eyeshadow. I'm gonna go with this like small detailer brush from Heatherloo Cosmetics and I'm going to take the shade Toffee, which is this brown shade. And I'm just gonna sort of really pack that on the brush like so. And I'm gonna use this to add some definition into my crease, so. I'm really impressed with these shadows, not gonna lie. I'm gonna go back in with that terracotta shade in the same brush I used earlier and just blendy. I'm then gonna go in with this small little blender brush and I think I'm gonna take the shade Salmon, which is this like orange shade, this cream orange shade, and I'm just taking it on that little brush, tapping it off, and I'm just gonna use that to really blend the edges of the shadow. I take my shadows up quite high, you don't have to, but this is basically just me playing around with it. Like I went into this, I haven't only just swatched the shadows, so. And as you can see, that's blended out really softly. Um, I'm just gonna take more of that terracotta, build it up. And then I'm gonna go back in with that shade the toffee shade again. And I'm just gonna take it on a little blender brush as well, that toffee shade, just because I want it on my outer corner. Okay, and now I've packed some more of that on, I'm just gonna go back in with the brush we used earlier for the shade called Salmon, which is the light orange. Okay, so now we have our sort of basis for the blend. You can see obviously it's a lot lighter on my lid because I'm obviously gonna cut it out. So, 
Um, I'm going to take some makeup remover. I'm going to use the Nivea Double Effects. And I'm just going to take it on a brush. I'm just going to take it on this brush. So I'm just going to use it to take some of the shadow off so it doesn't go really cakey. You don't have to cut it like perfectly. You just have to like get most of it off so it's easier. <laughs> then I'm going to cut the crease. I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape to do so. I think I'm going to take this uh, flat concealer brush to cut the crease actually. I'm just going to go in. Also guys, if you're wondering where my mirror is from, it is from Jazzle Dazzle. Um, they're on Instagram, Facebook, all that sort of stuff. I will leave a link down below, um, but yeah. Okay, so I've got the sort of base for the crease going there, the cut crease. Right now I need to wait for my concealer to dry down, so I'm just gonna go and repeat everything I did on this eye. Guys, it printed, so I'm having to take the cut up a little bit higher. Okay, so we have um, the creases both cut, but I'm gonna have to wait for it to dry down because the concealer's still really wet. So I'm just gonna move on to my face makeup, which I'm gonna do off camera. And that means it's time for the headband. I'm ready. Okay, so I've just finished my face makeup. So I'm just gonna go in and blend the edges of the um, eyeshadow. This, I'm gonna use that shade Toffee from earlier. I'm going to take the shade Garnet and I'm going to pack that on my lid. Oh yeah, applies loads, but I'll wear it. Okay, so there the shimmer is on the lid and you can see what it looks like. I think we'd take this one by collection. So I've just put some of that glitter on my lid. I don't know if you can see it. And I'm going to take the shade Unicorn. Okay, yeah, I love it with the glitter. Okay, now I'm gonna do it all again on the other eye. Okay, so this eye is kind of not great, but I don't really care about this eye. I kind of did it in a rush just so it would look even. Um, I'm literally just gonna take pictures of this eye on Instagram. But this is the eye we wanna focus on. So I'm gonna use this little brush. I'm just gonna use the Heavily Cosmetics Highlight and Palette just to highlight my inner corner and brow bone. Now time for mascara. I'm gonna use the Mega Volume Miss Baby Roll. So I think I'm gonna go on with the Belle Femme Cosmetics. Um, these are the Miami lashes. And they look like this. Okay, now while I wait for those to get tacky, we can go on to the um, under eye makeup. So let's take this small detailer brush. I'm just gonna take the shade Terracotta, which is the first red shade we used. I'm just gonna take that like really on my lash line. And then I'm gonna take the shade Toffee, which is the brown shade. I'm just gonna repeat the same on the other eye. What have I done? Okay, I got them all in the end. <laughs> it looks like we have the final finished looks. I'm very happy. Um, I'll just give you a little close up on the eyeshadow. Ignore my bad eyelash application. Overall, my review and my first thoughts for slash impressions on the Folklore We Care Your Favours eyeshadow palette. Um, I really like it. I feel like it's like really buildable. Um, so like I said earlier, I can put a tiny bit on my brush and blend it out and it will blend beautifully and be really soft. Um, or I can pack it on and build it up and make it really, really pigmented. Um, not to say they're not pigmented already, but you know what I mean. So I feel like in that way, it kind of can cater to everybody because I know a lot of people don't like this sort of, sort of eyeshadow style and they want to go for something a little less dramatic and something soft like every day and stuff like that. So um, I feel like in that aspect, it will work really well. Um, but for people like me, it also works really well because you have that sort of freedom to play around with it. Um, 
so yeah i am really impressed i say with the shimmers you definitely need to use a wet brush um i found that's the way they applied best um but as soon as you've got a wet brush they apply beautifully and yeah overall i am really really happy with this look so um i tried out i can't compare it to the huda beauty rose gold but i must say i'm very happy and very impressed with my first um, time trying this palette. I will keep you guys posted. I'll also try the other palettes soon. But yeah, um, that's pretty much my final thoughts. So yeah, if you guys do like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Uh, make sure that you are subscribed and that you have the post notifications on. My socials will be linked down below. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, add me on Snapchat, all that fun stuff, feel free to do so. Um, I also do have a discount code with Folklore Beauty. Um, I do not benefit from the code. It's just for you guys. And you get 15% off with the code SCLBeauty15. So use it. Get yourself some gorgeous palettes um from what i found um when they sent me the palettes the shipping was quite quick um literally it was a couple of days um and i'm in the uk so just to give you guys a heads up but anyway yeah so thanks for watching the video guys like comment comment your thoughts and i'd love to hear you know what you guys think about it thanks bye